Broadcom booth with Benjamin Azule, and he's talking about something that sounds like witchcraft here. It's Li-Fi, L-I-F-I, like Wi-Fi only with light. Tell us about what you've got going on here, Benjamin. This is a technology that was created by a professor in France, which is called, who is called Suat Topsu, who started to make the LED blinks so fast that it can communicate. And uh, this technology is very interesting because it is an extremely fast communication, almost at light speed. Maybe the say. speed of light? <laughs> exactly. Okay. It is radio wave free, so no potential harm for the body, and at the same time, highly secure connectivity. Okay, but I would expect there'd be a lot of loss using light. I mean, uh, how do you create a collimated beam of light in Li Fi? So it is working with a visible light, but it's also working with invisible light. And we, we did our market research and people told us, but I, want, I don't want to switch on the light to communicate to the internet. And this is why with this product, it is the first product that is accessible to the consumers that is using this technology with invisible lights. Okay, so for those only listening, we have what looks to be a table lamp. It's kind of a cool space age looking lamp with a red tube that comes up and a tube that comes out of the end of the light. Uh, but I'm guessing the tube is the real thing or no? Is that just for show? At all. <laughs> the, this, is, this is a lamp which is designed by a French designer called Pierre Garner who has, uh, he j just wanted to demonstrate that the internet cable giving the data is prolongated with this, uh, with this stuff. But you can remove it, it has no... But it looks cool. Exactly. It's like this little, exactly. little red rod in, that comes out in, of it, like, like in, that's really it. In but reality, you're saying, in reality, in reality where is it? It is here. Together with what we call this, this, this is called a dongle, a USB dongle, that communicates. Okay, so on the on the table, he's got a 12-inch MacBook. He's got a little uh, little dongle here with a, a USB port, and he's got a small round disc, maybe two inches in diameter. It's got three green lights on it. And you're telling me this is communicating internet to this laptop? Exactly, uh, very fast at 23 megabits per sub, per second, full duplex, very secure, and this is very appreciated. What is the problem we are trying to solve at the offices is radio wave free and highly secure connectivity. This signal doesn't cross the walls like the Li-Fi. That's why people very appreciated that in, pro in professional environments. And at home, we have a concept which is called a digital detox because the hyper connectivity, especially of children, is a real societal problem. So this is a sort of green wireless connectivity of the future. So I would still think there'd be a lot of loss from light, correct? Uh, I mean, maybe not as much loss as Wi-Fi or more? No, there is, there is no loss at all. On, on the contrary, this is uh, by making the LED blinks, because the LED is a technology that provides a very fast uh, switch in and switch off because it is a semiconductor. So there is absolutely no loss on the contrary. I guess I'm thinking about the, the, the light coming down. A lot of the light is not actually hitting this puck. But I guess that, that's true with Wi-Fi too, right? You got Wi-Fi all over the place. It is absolutely correct. And uh, it will bring less mobility than the Wi-Fi. But we assume that. We, we, we want people, we provide people with a, with a new way to, co to, 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 to connect, not intrusive, connecting in, in a sort of cocoon it's for the family. almost a peaceful way. Exactly. Okay, Thank I'm going to test you here. I'm going to yes, turn the MacBook pleasure. around. He's got, uh, he's got Wi-Fi turned off. Okay. For sure. He's got Wi-Fi turned oh, off. I'm looking he's right at it. He's pointing light at this little puck. And he's going to go to his own website here. Actually, we should check. We should make him go to my website. Okay. Actually, get the light in the right... Oh, there it goes. Now it's happy. Okay. Here. Now he's happy. But he tells you. Yeah, you can tell. Okay, so to, to look, look at the speed. Okay, wait a minute. We're, we're going to have to test this. We're going to have to go to my website here. I'm going to go to uh, podfeet.com. And, whoops, got to spell it right. Oh, this is not an English keyboard. Uh, There's the sorry. M. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hit enter. There we go. Sorry, it was not a QWERTY key. Oh, oh, here we go. Wait, we got to bring it up on screen or it doesn't count. So through light, we have managed to go to podfeed.com. This is fantastic. Hang on, the guy I'm interviewing just walked away. <laughs> Benjamin, 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 come say goodbye to the interview here. <laughs> goodbye so, and thank do, you very much. How do people find this product? Uh, on Indiegogo, it is available for pre-orders since this morning. 
It is $840 each, including the dongle and including the PoE injector. Okay, and uh, how would people find it? OLEDCOM, C-O-M-M. Exactly, OLEDCOM, C-O-M-M dot com. And on the first page, you can pre-order it. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.